Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildermyth. Last time, we left off moving west to the Gambran Altar, while unfortunately, Whitghost is under attack. Unfortunately, again, we only have 11 days left to clear Gorgon's sites and get more time, and we need to investigate the Gambran Altar. So, we have a Gorgon site here, strength of 4, we can assault that, or we can go to the Gambran Altar proper. This takes one day. We have 11, but if we can do this, we'll get 50. And so, I think we're going to try this. This is the final fight of the chapter. When this fight is over, the chapter will end. Make sure you're ready. Okay. I guess this is happening then. So, let's see how this chapter resolves. Or, do we want to resolve this first? We know that if it's not the right time, nothing happens, but I'm not trust you to finish the job. I'm not sure I trust you to finish the job is something about Gothic's past. So these two are locked into this encounter and we get to bring one other with us. Let's bring Pastel as Faith is a little fragile and we already have a fighter and a mystic. Doesn't say it's going to cost us any number of days or anything, so... Let's see how this goes. Is that trying to bring us all the way back here? Alright, unfortunately, we don't have time for that. Can I cancel this? Unfortunately, we do not have time for that quest. So it's going to be everyone here doing this. These are the mistakes we make when we do a campaign for the first time and we learn as we go. Into depths. I wasn't imagining this. A sanctuary. I'd like to spend my own time here. Beautiful, huh, Pastel? The cavern of the sea spear lies at the heart of a magnificent canyon. Sides of the canyon are smooth and sheer, marbled blue and pink. Molded and mushed by the hands of titans where the world was clay. Now the stone is hard and sharp and glows. But the canyon's deep places are strung with fragrant clear waterfalls and ruffled greenery. The mouth of the cave is hidden. In damp shadow and fern feathered shade. But Pastel spots it. And leads the way inside. Smell that? Doesn't it remind you of somewhere? It smells like the ocean. Careful, there's holes. Don't know how deep they go. Pastel follows her own echoes into the dripping depths. No eye has scraped these walls in centuries. The air is pickled and still. It's smoother down here, but look at the ceiling. It seems to go up and up. Something's glinting too slime or something, hopefully not alive. It's cold, sinking into your bones, kind of cold. Can't wait to get out of here, jump in a hot bath. Gothic? Hmm? This looks like the end of the tunnel. And carved and firm and ancient. So, we have a doorway to the left and the doorway ahead of us. This way goes on far further than just the small chamber with the grandier door. So I guess we're going to peek this side first. Calabine, towering, reeking of algae and old water. It stalks sedentary on its stony limbs while the world quakes. Um, okay. Do we think that we are now supposed to run this way away from that thing rather than just standing and slamming attacks into it? I'm not too sure. But what we can do is move pastel to here 
and attack with our action. Then kite. So it takes up a two by three area. I wonder if it could even move through this door then. I guess we're going to need the door open to find out. Cannot open the door from here. Unless this... It can't be a locked door, otherwise they wouldn't bother putting it there. Alright, this has gotten a little awkward. We're going to mist fall. Once per combat, we'll become hidden, and then we can attack through the armor. Good. And then Gothic. We're going to have to interfuse with them. some things. Giant ruined pillar, perhaps? No, just blocked. Seven damage is massive. We get knocked back. Maybe we can do this sooner rather than later. If we just wail on it. Man, Kite is a beast. Queen of the Ancient Sea. Alright, let's get what we came for. It's here, the Sea Spear. The air in the chamber is clear and almost sweet. The corpses of giant guardians shrivels inside the carapace. Pastel approaches the edifice. The spear is glass-like, grand. It radiates legacy and power. It's just strange. What can this thing really mean to them? Thought about that. So, what if our myth of a hero queen with a spear to save the seas isn't really a myth at all? What if it's theirs? So it's a kind of emblem to them, maybe, of a past hero? As Pastel grips the spear, a noise begins to grow in the outer tunnels. It's the noise of feet and hooves, of tortured lungs shoveling air, and the sick, slickening quelch of creepy things. By the sound of it, a gorgon horde beasts... A, gor a horde of gorgon beasts is pounding towards the chamber. We need to hope they don't cut off our escape. I don't believe we'll survive if we stay here. The Petroglass Spear. Great Spear. Tier 3 Artifact. Water. Damage 8. Range 2.1. Stunt Damage 4. The Spear of an Ancient Hero Queen made of an unbreaking glass that swells with deep sea hues. When swung, it seems to whisper and lowly roar like a distant ocean or a crowd of frozen souls. Individual attacks a nearby foe with her Petroglass spe Sea Spear. Well, I think... We'll replace... I know life is new to the team, but hey. Old Sword doesn't seem to be doing too much for us. And we've already given Kite the Dragon Chopper. There are more foes in the area around us. So we don't have to walk to the end of the room and back. We already have claimed the Sea Spear from the Sea Spear's Cradle. So now it's going to be a slog to get through here. Don't know what that is. Possibly a monster spawner. Not sure. But we have to go through the door. And Pastel is stood next to it. Pastel is out of action for their turn. Okay, so we're still in combat order. Faith cannot get to the door either. Gothic, would you please interfuse with this brazier? Since it's the closest thing to the door. Anyone need healing right now? Not terribly so. Right, pastel. Door, please. 
Awful noises and rank smells rush out of the dark. This is a doomed fight if we try to hold our ground. Suggestions? We're not trapped. They're entering from a different tunnel. All we can do is choose a direction. Well, if he's right, our way might still be open. Let's avoid as much fighting as we can. Escape is the only option. Okay. Escape alive. We have blue tiles here, presumably our escape, and this tunnel that the foes are entering from. Gorgons will keep coming. Escape alive. So, pastel. Take up the first action. And for now, rather than just blindly running, we will attack as the rest of the party joins us behind. The melee characters will do double steps forward. Oh, lovely. That'll be great. Stand adjacent with Kite to increase our defenses. Faith. Can you get a shot from here? Cannot. All right, then move forward further. Gothic. From here, we're going to need to withdraw from these things. Can we interfuse with something close enough to make an attack? Probably not. It's probably a bit far. And more foes have entered. Right, we need to just keep moving up and hugging the left wall, basically. Um, pastel. Move to here. And we'll attack the injured foe. Damn. Uh, kite. Step to here. And defend. Griff. Step to here. And strike. Eight damage is massive. Now we'll pull everybody else up as far as we can. Basically ignoring the bag more for now. Uh, we will withdraw from this brazier. And double step as far as we can up to Pastel. Standing next to one another for an extra bit of defense. Another Bogmore has arrived. That is a massive attack. Okay, so they're spawning from there. We're moving this way. Faith. Should not really be in the front, considering she has the least health. Kite. Come and scout what's up ahead, please. All right, we can't see any foes from here, which is great. In that case, Griff shows us a clear shot to the exit. Now we're just going to get everyone dashing as fast and far as they can. Standing together where possible for increased defense for whatever might come around the corner. Right, from here, do we just have to get one person to that tile, I wonder? No, but Faith is now gone. Okay. Noted. So where possible, we want to get everybody moving out on the same turn rather than leaving individuals behind at risk. We are close enough from here to dash into the exit, so let's take an extra step ahead and go Guardian to protect those that aren't as fast for other things that are coming in towards us. Alright, we should be fine. Let's move the people at the back first. Lifer. Griff. Pastel. 
Pastel. Kite. Success. We have found Greybark Hunter Armor. Speed, minus 0.2, armor 2. Uh, Faith, you're improving your armor again. And Pastel is now a Bloodhorn Hunter. Sharpshooter, deals plus 1 damage and has plus 1 range with ranged attacks. Bows no longer have a minimum range. Wisdom, Pastel gets a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. 100% of base job speed for every 35 years of age. Flash Cone. Once per battle, Pastel throws a Flash Cone that blinds enemies and deals zero magic damage. If thrown at an ally, they will be hidden. Upgrade Ambush. Ambush interrupts enemy movement. I'm going to take the Upgrade Ambush so that if something comes towards us, they get hit and then stop in their tracks. We left that canyon and cave behind. The enemy's treasure in our hands. We should be joyful, but we know a clash is coming. We're outnumbered. We all have talents and we best use them, hone them, help each other prepare. Winning one hill doesn't decide anything. We can only hope this small victory buys us time. So, we gain resources from all of the places we have defended across the county. We have had three victories, gives us three years. 11 safe towers for plus five years. Two towns, plus three. An infested tile remains, minus one. And lurking threats, two, minus two. Based on your performance this chapter, you have earned eight years of peace. Your victory has undermined the enemy's plans. They've been wakened. During the years of peace, Kite tended his mystic seed until one day it sprouted. Well, maybe sprouted wasn't the right word. It burst up in a shower of dirt, producing small fond noises. Oh, you're a thing. Um, you don't crave blood, do you? Its growth would be incredibly slow. But perhaps endless? Quump, fump. Kite added a new addition to his house. He put a sturdy table at the centre of it and always found excuses to have friends for dinner. Pastel fell for a shepherdess, she noticed in the hills. Hand in hand, they would follow the flock for hours in contented silence. Faith was acquired by a family of cats for a few seasons. She would watch them stalk birds in the mornings and eventually reaching the conclusion, cats are terrifying. While out for an evening stroll, Gothic accidentally locked eyes with a forest squirrel. In the long years ahead, it would prove a tolerable companion and comfort in his old age. Kite's daughter had reached adventuring age. Rista Spider Digger has joined Faithful's Furious Flock as a warrior. Rista Spider Digger is now a Greenhorn Warrior. When Rasta gets a kill, the next attack against her within one turn will miss. Sentinel replaces Guardian. The warrior leaps up two tiles in order to intercept a foe who passes nearby, performing a reaction strike. Vigilance. Rista's heightened senses allow for her to perform up to two reaction strikes per turn. Interesting, so presumably they have a reaction strike already. Let's go with Sentinel and try and control the battlefield. Transformations. Advance Kite's transformation. Gem Arm. Action. Crystal Sword. 6 to 9 damage. Kite slashes a nearby foe with his gleaming sword arm. Damage 4 to 7 plus half bonus damage plus potency. Yes. And we have all of our resources that we can upgrade something for. I think this one we get to do for free regarding the time frame. So who needs something? Kite can no longer apparently wield a shield because of his sword arm, perhaps. He's made of crystal. Uh, 
Rice to Spider Digger, what are you wearing? You have a standard great spear. Could we build for you something more awesome? The Gloom Smasher. The Golden Claim. We don't have 19 heartwoods for the bigger stuff. Let's take your given spear and improve it to the crow fall. An increase in damage and stunt damage. And gothic. I don't see why we wouldn't give you a shield or something. Yeah, we'll just give you a standard shield. Anything else? Lifer. You could probably benefit from a shield as well. And Rice Star. Unfortunately, we are out of wood for that. Uh, dual weapons on this side. We have ingots and hides. Double dueling swords, perhaps. Damage times two after armor if flanking. Daggers attack do two times damage after armor if flanking. Rice's attacks a nearby foe with her green shard. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Keep some of our supplies. Some storms batter compromise into combative neighbours. Grudges are no shelter in bitter weather. The rains had been falling for a full week with brief interludes of tents, massing clouds and dripping branches. Mountain snows melted and water roared from the heights. The seas whirled and rung at the shores, flung waves ever further. Rivers conquered their banks and marched wider. Valleys turned to huge brackish lakes. Lowland woods and the dams of dry times were swept away as creatures of all shapes and kinds sought escape from the churning floods. You think our Ulstrix poisoned the weather? After all this time, why? How? With what? I'm telling you, it's... Well, who else could have done this? I've seen things in the wild, stuff you can't explain, and... Oh... Someone at the door. The strange party of visitors beg for a fire. They appear to be on edge, here in a common dwelling and also very soggy. Arnon, you fanatics aren't welcome here. Why did you come? The haggard man behind the horns calling himself Arnon takes a long breath and turns to address Gothic and the rest. Ask my wife. Ask my wife, she sent me. You can't believe that, at my advanced age? I grew up here in five yarns. You know, it looks different. His two underlings shift and wrestle their garments as they dry out. Must be about the flooding. Yeah. You know why the... No, everyone knows. It's those tentaclasts, the Gorgons. They're bringing ruin on us all. Which Gorgons? Um... They're blue? That checks out. But I mean, who's there? The Gorgons are flooding the world. They've set it in motion and it cannot be stopped. Almost. How? None of this should be possible. I mean, the rain, the melt, the sea? You're right, it shouldn't be. The great balance should be unassailable. But somehow, they've thrown it over. So the torrents fall, the seas thrash, the soil keeps black down our warrens. It's Ulstrix, I knew it would be. Ulstrix? No, it's the Gorgons I'm saying. The beasts have their warned helms hemmed in. My wife's inside, dry and warm, you need to talk to her. Hemmed in, but you slipped by them. It's why it had to be me, I'm a master of looping the light. I tend to be missed. 
My question is, why come to us? Your reputation reaches deep. You are the Gorgon's foe. He certainly gives us an option. A strange one, but the weather, these floods, what else can go on? If you want to watch the world sink beneath a rising sea, watch all land things perish, then you're exactly where you need to be. But if you see sense... Arnon thuds a lump of soaked fabric on the table. Thump. Here is a... No, it's wet. I mean, it's a map. Sorry, it'll dry all crinkly. Follow the map. Come to our warren. There, learn for yourselves how you can deflect this drowning doom, and these lands all save. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra monster card in every battle. Well, it appears that Wickghost survived the assault that was put under it previously. And now, for the start of Chapter 3, we are to meet Arnon at the Slime Fari Pit, and a tile will flood in 150 days. This over here is the Slime Fari Pit. So, join me next Monday, where we will start Chapter 3, and we'll see where this story is leading us. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below, or if you would like to be notified when chapter three uploads on monday you can subscribe and you'll get all future channel notifications thank you ever so much for watching everybody be well and have a great day cheers